What is energy? Energy is how things change and move. Like birds fly in the sky, trees move in the wind, ships sail on the seas, and people and animals move all around. None of these things can move without energy. People and machines need energy to move and work. Overall, it's defined as ability to do work. There are different forms of energy. Sound, potential, kinetic, heat, light, chemical, mechanical, wind, electrical and nuclear energy. Sound energy. A sound is produced when an object vibrates. When this happens, the air around it vibrates too. These vibrations crowd in the air as sound waves. When these sound waves enter your ear, we hear sound. Now let's take a look at sound. I'm going to show an experiment. You will need spoon, tray, rubber band, rice grains, cup and cling wrap. My mother already made this for me. So I'm going to bang the spoon on the tray. See what happens. Yes, you saw the rice grains dance. That is because when the metal tray vibrates, the air around it vibrates too, making the rice grains dance. This ends sound energy. Potential energy. I hope you all remember your sports day running race. Yes, when it's announced on your marks, you'll be in a running position ready to run. When I'm in a running position, I use a less amount of energy. The rest of the energy is used up for the running. The energy that is stored up for our later use is called as potential energy. Kinetic energy. The energy of motion. The energy an object has due to its motion is called as kinetic energy. For potential energy, you are only on on your marks and get set. But when you hear the word go, you start running. That's kinetic energy. My hot chocolate is ready. Never mind, I'll bring it later. First, let me explain about heat energy. Heat energy is also called as thermal energy. It is defined as the flow of energy from a warm to a cooler object. Heat energy is all around us. Like inside volcanoes, icebergs, in our body has heat. Every matter has heat energy. Now I can finish drinking my hot chocolate. Ow! The spoon is very hot. That is because the heat in the hot chocolate flowed into the spoon, making the spoon hot too. Okay, I finished my hot chocolate. Let's move on to light energy. This is the type of energy that makes it possible for us to see the world around us. Light energy travels in light waves and is the only energy that makes it possible for us to see through. There are many good examples like torches, flashlights and bulb. But a good example for both light and heat energy is sun, a naturally good resource. Chemical energy. It is the ability of a chemical substance to undergo a chemical reaction to transform into another substance. Now I'm going to show you a chemical reaction experiment, which is dancing raisins. Yeah. So you will need vinegar, baking soda, some raisins, and a glass of water. Start experiment now. First, add, add baking soda to the water and mix it till it fully dissolves. Mixy, mixy, mix. Okay, now it's dissolved. Next, add raisins. Raisin, raisin, raisin. Yeah. After you put the raisins, add 
vinegar. Observe the raisins dance. Vinegar. Because of vinegar and baking soda, the gas is formed into the shape of bubbles. These bubbles stick to the wrinkled parts of the raisins, making the raisins lighter. So the main raisins move to the surface. When the raisins hit the surface, some of the bubbles pop, making the raisins heavier and they move to the ground. This process repeats. Dad, can you give me some chips? Okay. Uh, now let's move on to mechanical energy. That is the sum of both kinetic and potential energy in an object that is used to do work. Here's an example. Dad, I still haven't gotten my chips. Here is an example of hammer in motion. When the hammer is at rest, that's potential energy. When you swing the hammer up to some distance from the nail, it's kinetic energy. Finally, when the hammer hits the nail, it's mechanical energy. Wind energy. Wind energy is a clean, free and readily available. Nowadays, wind is used to make electricity. Back in the olden days, windmills were used to turn grindstones and pump water. K kite, windmill, propeller and paper aeroplanes are all good examples for wind energy. Electrical energy. It is a very convenient form of energy to use. Electrical energy is a type of ki kinetic energy caused by the moving or flowing of the electric charges. Here I have a little experiment. The electric charge in the battery will flow through the alligator wire and through the light bulb. See what happens when a circuit is closed. The light bulb lights up. This is how electric energy works. This ends what is energy and the different types of energy. Bye! Hope you liked it. See you in my next video.